Hey everybody, so here is our glide A drill. Um, so what we're doing is basically you are sitting down and back and then you are driving your left leg backwards and landing in this A position, okay? We call it A because if you drew a line here, here, and here, there's an A. So when we go back and we do this, okay, we're getting into our T pose here, okay, sitting down and back, okay, as we sit down and back, we're pushing off of the heel, okay. Shifting back, as we shift back, the toes are coming up off the ground. Here. Okay. And as we're extending with that right leg, we are extending with our left. Okay. You should be in a pretty wide stance here. Okay. The wider you can go, um, the better, but don't necessarily overdo it. We don't need it to be doing the, the splits in this drill. Um, so you're gonna drive off the front leg, keeping the toes pulled, um, pulled up, and you at the same time you're driving the left leg back. Now, if you look at the upper body as I'm going through here, I'm keeping my hand, trying to reach down to my toe, okay, I know when I stopped, I kind of pulled up there, but here you can see, okay, you can see it pretty well, all right, so your goal is to take this hand and push it, try and push that shoulder down to these toes, okay, so when we go and do this, um, another thing we need to be thinking about is our postures, okay? We don't necessarily want to have a curved posture, okay, here. We don't want to be like rounded off. It's not necessarily the worst thing in the world, but I think as we're learning to do things properly, we should focus on a stricter position. And as we get more comfortable, we'll be able to so figure out your own style and how you move things and what's going to be easiest for you. So try and keep a strict posture there. Um, as we go on with the video, okay, we get set up again. Okay, here, we'll be, we're going to be able to see the foot positioning. So as we step back, we're doing the drive, we're extending the left leg. Okay, right here, we're still reaching down to the toes of the upper body. We are now looking at our foot positioning. So if we drew a line down the middle of the circle, okay, that's from our heel down through the middle. Um, my heel's kind of back a little bit. I kind of drove off at an angle, probably a little bit closer to this left sector line. But the goal is to have your heel on that center line and then your left toe, okay, your left toe is facing the center line, but behind the center line, okay? So we have our right foot back here. We have our left here, okay? So it's down and back, and it's all the left foot is facing the center line. Okay. So you're not necessarily going to be facing all one direction. Your left foot is going to be facing the center. You're going to be back behind the line here and your right heel is going to be on the line. That is the position that we're looking for to land in. It's almost some it's very similar to if you think about it, it's similar to the power position or the foot positioning of the power throw. 
as we go through. We're setting ourselves up for that. Go ahead and give it a try.